Hey there, this is Lula Alvey. Welcome to my channel. Or if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming by today. In this video, I will be revealing a vintage Cartier bag that I recently purchased from Rebecca B Luxury. If you have watched my videos before, I'm sure you've probably heard me mention her. This is actually the third purchase I've made from her. As always, I will have her information linked below. Rebecca was doing a New Year's sale a few weeks ago. She had a fabulous sale on this Cartier bag. Plus I had a little bit of store credit to use with her. So I purchased this bag for an excellent price. Now let's open it up and see what it is. This is a vintage bag from the 1990s. So, well, from approximately the 1990s. I'm not sure exactly, but Rebecca said that is her best guess as to when this bag was made. So she did really wonderfully wrap a package and ship this bag to me. I got it a couple weeks ago, so I've opened it up since then, um, but she did include just this plain white dust bag and she did have the bag really wonderfully wrapped. I will, I did stuff it since I opened it, but I'll take all of that out now. And this is the bag I purchased. It is a vintage bucket bag from Cartier, and it's in this beautiful, really classic, iconic burgundy color leather. You can see there is the Cartier stamp in the middle of the bag on both the front and the back. And the handles also have, here's one, this really lovely Cartier detail. Let me adjust the straps. And here is the bag. It is empty right now, of course but this is how the bag looks when you have the handles cinched up. There's panels of a, a more firm leather. I think there's some sort of backing behind this leather. And then there's alternating panels of soft leather. I believe this is called a tulip bag. I'm not 100% sure if that's the exact name, but this is a vintage style from approximately the 1990s. Let's open it up and take a look inside. On the inside, it has this beautiful fabric red lining with the Cartier logo printed across the entire fabric. And there is a small slip pocket in both the front and the back of the bag. And there is a metal plate in the back that says Must de Cartier Paris. So the Must de Cartier was essentially meant to be the essentials of Cartier. This was a lower price point collection, basically aimed to bring new customers into Cartier who might not be spending as much money for jewelry and accessories. There was, I know, a tank watch that was part of the Musta Cartier collection. And I believe Cartier recently brought back the Musta Cartier collection. If you look on their website today, you will find some bags and other leather goods that are labeled Musta Cartier. So I'll link to that below as well as maybe one or two other sources about this line if you're interested in learning more about it. Here is the bag all filled up and cinched. Let's see what fits. This is a pretty generous size. So all of your essentials will fit. I have a long wallet, sunglasses, the Louis Vuitton mini pochette accessoire, as well as the six key holder. Everything fits in here really nice. I don't have my cell phone just because I'm using it right now but that would very easily fit in here with everything else. And I love the addition of the side pockets too because if you need something that you have to grab really quick, you can slip it in there. You can see the six key holder 
fits really nicely in that side pocket. The other thing that I really love about this bag is how versatile these straps are. You can pull the straps through and have a long drop. You can also pull the straps on each side and carry it like a little handheld or just in the crook of your arm. I think for being from around the 1990s, this bag is in really great shape. The leather has held up really well. There is a bit of wrinkling just on these panels because they do move quite a bit depending on how you store the bag and how you have it cinched up. I do plan on cleaning and conditioning this leather. There's also just a couple, I don't even think you can really see it on camera. There's a couple very light hairline scratches um, around the bottom of the bag just from being used. So I do plan on using a leather cleaner and conditioner on this, just spiffing it up a little bit and then taking her out to use. I just, I really love the color. I'm really attracted to this wine burgundy color for fall winter. So I wanna start using it right away. It's January now before the weather gets too warm. And I just love the really, tiny Cartier details between the color, the really small logos on the side, and the hardware on the bag. So it has all these really great little touches, but it's not really loud like this is, that it's a luxury designer bag. So um, yeah, I think I'll definitely get a lot of use out of this. And as I said before, I got a great deal. Uh, Rebecca had this bag on sale, plus I had store credit to use with her. So all of that combined, this came out to $324. I thought that was a really great deal and a really fair price on this bag. So I'm really happy to add this to my collection. And this is my first Cartier bag, my first Cartier piece at all. I will uh, share some photos styling this bag on my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, head over there. I will link to my Instagram profile below and I will share some photos styling this bag with outfits as I use it over the next few weeks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this bag, please do leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to come back every Wednesday and Friday for new videos. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.